Okay, so this video is a look at a view to a kill cars. I know a view to a kill is not considered to be one of the better Bond films. Roger Moore looks too old for the role by now, and I think one critic wrote that Moore just did the close-ups for the stuntmen, which is really apparent here, as it's really badly edited in places. You can clearly tell when it's not him, but a stuntman. But it was the second Bond film I saw at the cinema, so I've always had a soft spot for it, and it's still a lot of fun. Matchbox were going to make a box set of cars to go with the film, but it never got past the prototype stage. Here's a picture of the proposed set in this book. You would have got a silver Rolls Royce, a blue Paris taxi, a large ramp, a police car and a helicopter. The taxi and the ramp are so you can recreate the chase scene in Paris. The silver Rolls Royce is from when Bond is undercover as an aristocrat. The police car is from the scenes in San Francisco and the helicopter is from the opening ice chase. As I've said on a previous video, I'm sure the silver Rolls Royce was part of a mailway offer, which I'm sure I took part in, got the car, then lost it, which is a shame as it would have been nice to show here. What I have got from the set is this. The small blue Paris taxi when Bond is chasing a parachuting Mayday. On the bottom it says it's a Renault 11 from 1985 and by Matchbox. It's not in such bad condition considering its age. It looks better than my only other surviving childhood Bond car, the Aston Martin. which, as you can see, hasn't aged well. It doesn't matter, as it has been replaced, and so has the Paris taxi with this. A newish version from 2002, and also by Corgi. This is a good solid version of it. The boot opens up, which is its only working feature. The other car I've got from A View to a Kill is this. An 85 Chevy Corvette from Johnny Lightning. It's not Bond's, it belongs to a female Russian spy who Bond crosses the path of as they're both investigating the villain Zorin. You get a small version of the movie poster with the car. Away from the card, you wouldn't know this was a Bond car. I have moaned on previous videos that some Bond cars have 007 plastered all over them, so you know what they're from. But I'm glad this doesn't have any unnecessary markings on it. I have no idea how to make this a Bond car away from the card. You just have to take the owner's word on it, I suppose. Okay, so that was a look at some A View to a Kill cars and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.